Hi everybody. In this video I want to talk about the Python assert statement and I want to show you how you can use that to help automatically detect errors in your program. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the mechanics of the assert statement. Uh, I just want to give a brief overview here and then at the end I want to give you some references to some online resources where you can go and learn a lot more about this. Uh, the syntax of the assert statement is very simple. Uh, it is a Python keyword, so it is actually part of the language. Um, and the way it works is you say assert followed by some logical condition that needs to evaluate to true. Uh, if the condition is true, the assert does nothing and your program just continues to, to execute. But if the assert condition evaluates to false, then your program will raise an assertion error and typically your program will just halt at that point with an error message on the screen. Um, I like to compare the assert statement to having airbags in your car, right? It's kind of a safety feature. Um, so airbags are convenient because they're always there. You never really have to think about them, but when you do need them, they just work automatically. And the assert statement is, is kind of like that. You place them in your code. Normally, they don't get executed. You can sort of forget about them. But when you do have an error, then they get triggered automatically. And you'll see exactly where the, where the error occurred and what the error is. Now, the assert statement raises an exception and so we need to talk a little bit about how assert exceptions fit into the overall exception handling scheme that, that Python has. Um, we have two ways of, of dealing with exceptions. We have try blocks and we have asserts. Uh, try blocks are typically used when you have some kind of a recoverable error. You try something, it fails, and then you can try again or you can try to do something else uh, but there's some sort of recovery action that you can take. Um, assert statements are a bit different. Uh, you're not really meant to catch the error. I'm sorry, you're not really meant to catch the exception and do something with it. Um, the exception just triggers and basically kills your program at that point. Um, that's a bit harsh, but realistically, there's not much else you can do. Uh, if you get an assertion error, you don't have enough information to fix the problem. Uh, and typically, you're, you're dealing with a situation that should not have occurred under normal conditions, uh, something that is, quote unquote, impossible. Um, assertions are very good just by themselves, but you can also use them as part of a larger strategy. Uh, you can use assertions to write preconditions, postconditions, and invariants. And if you don't know what those are, that's okay. Uh, those resources that we're going to talk about in a minute will explain those things in more detail. So here are the resources. Uh, we have a wiki page, we have a Udacity course, and we have a book. Let's look at the wiki page first. So here's a page from the Python wiki, and the title of the page is Using Assertions Effectively. It's a fairly short page. It won't take you very long to read it. Um, it talks about what assertions are, how they work, and gives a couple of examples. The next resource I want to show you is this Udacity course, uh, Software Debugging. And this is course number CS. Now, this is a very good course and I really recommend that you, you take it. Uh, the, the instructor for this course is Dr. Andres Zeller and um, he does a really good job of talking about software debugging and how to uh, detect errors and how to correct them. Um, now 
If you don't have time to take the entire course, that's okay. You should still sign up for it anyway. The, the majority of the value that you're going to get out of this is going to be in the first two lessons. The first lesson is just a, a background on software bugs in general. Lesson two goes into real depth on how to use assertions and how to use them to write those things that I mentioned before, the preconditions, the postconditions, and the invariants. Uh, so I, I really think that most of the value of this course is right there in lesson two. Those are the things that you're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis as you write code. The last uh, resource that I want to show you is a book titled Why Programs Fail, also written by Dr. Zeller, the same gentleman who does the Udacity course. Um, I don't really recommend this book. It's a fine book, but it's meant as more of a general book on software debugging. It's not written specifically for Python. A lot of the example code is written in things like C and C++ and Java. So it's not really uh, directly applicable to writing Python code. And, and quite honestly, um, the Udacity course covers all of the material that you would find in the book. Uh, the book is a little bit pricey. Even a, a used copy is going to cost about $30. The Udacity course is completely free and you get the same value from the course as you would get from the book. So I really recommend not buying the book unless you're really interested in this subject and you want to have a good uh, reference book on, on the topic. Then yes, it would be worthwhile to buy the book. But for general programming purposes, I would say the course is probably your best bet. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I hope you will uh, look at these resources and learn how to use assertions and start using them in your own programs. That's it for now. Bye.